My full name is Andrew Lee. I teach Algebra 2, Honors, and CP. Well, I try to do a good job every day. And I try just to worry about always be learning, always be looking for new things, stay curious, stay interested. And that's how I live my life. Um, I like the aspect of math where it's, it's right or wrong and you know it when you see it. So it just kind of clicks. And when I was a kid, um, outside of school, my mom would give me little booklets, like about pre-algebra, then algebra, and I just devoured them. I really liked going through and I liked the lessons, I liked filling out the problems. So that gave me an appetite for math going into school. In their lives, well for sure managing your finances, there's, it's never too early. I mean, some of you have jobs, some of you have allowances, some of you buy things. Just know how much money is coming in and how much is coming out. Just make the habit of that. And try to have the number coming in be larger than the number coming out. Well, for sure I spent some time preparing for the next day's lesson. And, you know, after that, I relax with um, some music or podcast, TV, video games. You know, similar stuff to, to students, I would imagine. Um, when the weather is nice, I like to go play, you know, on one of the public courts to sh shoot the basketball. I, I would highly recommend um, anything put out by uh, 538.com. And, I mean, there's certainly a lot of statistics and math talk there and political talk that I think is very stimulating and they present it with a very um, scientific, dry approach. So you can only learn new stuff and they have good banter. Creative people. Um, I was never the most artistic person. I mean, you can be a mathematical person and an artistic person. I was mostly a mathematical person. So people who, who draw, who write, um, who make media, I, I admire them and I admire their skill and I, I take inspiration from the things that they can create that I can only, I can only consume and appreciate. Thank you. You're welcome. ethos or does the corporate ethos define me? Does my appearance belie my interference? How will I coalesce evidence in some didactic vivisections?